What I love about pineapple fried rice is every bite is just a little bit different. If you don't get pineapple in it, it's savory, but if you get a bit of pineapple in it, it's a little bit sweet and savory. It's just delicious. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Whenever I go to a Thai restaurant, I always wanna order pineapple fried rice, but why not? Because I can always make it at home, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna make pineapple fried rice with chicken. I've already cut up some chicken. I have half a pound of boneless, skinless thighs that I've cut up into bite-sized pieces. And if you don't like thighs, you can always use uh, chicken breast. And I said I had half a pound, right? So that was about three thighs. I'm going to add just a teaspoon of soy sauce. And let that marinate while I chop up the rest of my ingredients. When making a fried rice or any kind of stir fry, it's really important to get all of your ingredients ready to go because the cooking part of it is actually really fast. So I have about half an onion. You can use a small onion or half of a medium onion. And I'm just going to cut this or chop this into small pieces. And the smaller you chop them, the faster they'll cook. I've been planting green onions in my garden, so I cut them about here and then I just stick them in the garden and they grow again, which is awesome. Way to get mileage on those onions. Yep. So that was three green onions. And I just have a small bunch of cilantro here. It's going to be about, I guess, two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Okay, maybe a quarter cup. And if you don't like cilantro, just don't use it. Right? Life is too short to eat stuff that you don't like. Is this not like the biggest clove of garlic you've ever seen? My aunt was growing garlic in her garden and basically each bulb that came out has two cloves of garlic in it, like this size. So I am going to say use two regular cloves of garlic that we're going to just put through the garlic press. Wow, I can't even get the skin off. See, it's like massive. Wow. <laughs> are, you, are you sure your aunt is not participating in some GMO project? Or maybe she's entering a garlic competition. <laughs> it's so big, I have to cut it in half before I can get it through the garlic press. So it won't fit otherwise. It barely fits now. We're gonna add three eggs. We're just gonna lightly beat them. Just gonna lightly beat them. Okay. You're also getting my sauce ready. I have half a teaspoon of sugar. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. Two teaspoons of fish sauce. And if you don't have fish sauce and you don't want to invest in a bottle, just add two more teaspoons of soy sauce instead. But I'd imagine that the uh, flavor profile just isn't the same though. It's not. Fish sauce just adds a little something something. One teaspoon of sesame oil, and this is roasted sesame oil. and a pinch of white pepper. A lot of people lately have been commenting about what kind of sesame oil I'm using. And I wanna say that it's roasted sesame oil, which is what I said earlier. But now I'm looking at the bottle, it doesn't actually say it's roasted. It just says pure sesame oil. But I also know that there is raw sesame oil out there, which is a way different flavor. But when you're cooking Asian food, it's always this dark sesame oil. I'm also using a can of pineapple and I just strained it. Um, I'll drink the juice after. And if you have fresh pineapple, go ahead and use that. But I always have canned pineapple at home so that this recipe is always easy to make. I also have three little tomatoes here. I wish they were from my garden, but my garden is only growing the most expensive tomatoes and 
they're not ripe yet. So I'm just going to cut these up like this, little wedges. Wow, that turned out to be a lot of tomato. If you don't want to add that much, you can cut down the amount, but that was three little tomatoes and I'm just going to use it all. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Heating up the wok. And if you don't have a wok, you can always use a very large frying pan. I find the wok is best for stir fries and for fried rice because it just gives a lot more room to stir your ingredients around. People ask about my wok all the time and unfortunately I haven't come across anything similar. It was handcrafted and I picked it up in our local Chinatown. So sorry guys, I wish there was something that I could find online for y'all. Okay, as soon as you see a wisp of smoke, add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and then add your eggs to cook. Okay, I'm just gonna scoop it out and put it back into the bowl that I had the eggs in. Just when they're almost cooked fully. Okay, adding another tablespoon of oil. Getting my onions in. Okay, just for a minute. And then we're gonna add our garlic. Just cook that until it's fragrant. And I'm adding my chicken. And you want to cook the chicken all the way through. So this will take a couple of minutes. I have about three cups of cooked rice and it's day old leftover rice from the fridge. And you want to use day old rice because it's drier and fresh rice is just too moist. The dry rice will actually absorb all of the flavors. It'll be way more tasty. You just want to cook this until all the rice is kind of broken up into their individual grains. We're using a jasmine rice because that's what we eat. Make sure that your fried rice is made with a long grain or a short grain rice, not instant rice. Never. I'm adding the pineapple chunks. Oh, it smells good. I'm adding the eggs back in. Let's break it up a little bit. And the sauce. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell the fish sauce. So it is gonna make a bit of a difference. Okay, I'm turning off the heat. I'm adding my tomatoes, green onion, and cilantro. It's like Christmas in here. Mm-hmm, all the colors. But it's too hot. It's too hot to be Christmas. Are you all ready for? Oh yes. I'm ready for the taste. Just kidding guys, I'm not gonna use this to eat. Or should I? Woo! The aroma fills our home. The goodness. You're right Flo. It makes it pretty darn difficult to uh, want to order it out when you can make it at home. Okay, I gotta say guys, uh, I don't think you get the same effect if you don't have fish sauce. So go the extra mile, get that fish sauce, and it's gonna bring that extra aroma and umami. You know, earlier Flo, we were talking about the different, um, the different bites that you get. This one didn't have pineapple, so it was savory with different textures of the freshness, also of the cilantro and the green onions. 
Oh, the savory flavors are, yep, it's that fish sauce, it's that umami. Not salty, just flavorful. All right, here comes the, the bite with the pineapple. Oh, look at those chopstick skills. Mmm, mmm. There's a party inside there. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So good. Mmm. Been hitting it out of the park, girl, with all these simple, awesome flavors. And I have to say, it actually makes quite a lot. There's still that much in the wok. That much on the plate. And that all much. that is gonna go in here. <laughs> all right, thanks, dude. Uh-huh. You know, don't listen to dude. If you really can't get fish sauce, just use a little bit more soy sauce. It'll be totally fine. I resent that comment. <laughs> All right, everyone, I've been so enjoying bringing you simple recipes that you can make at home. If you want more, just like this, check it out, and I will see you over there.